Hello students. Let us today solve some problems uh, based on uh, frequency, amplitude, RMS value and average value. And then let us uh, see what is phase and phase difference. So first let us go to, uh, in, uh, to solve some problems. So before going to solve some problems, I have listed some important formulas here. Um, uh, we had seen in the previous video uh, where we had found out the equation for alternating EMF. So alternating EMF is given by E is equal to EM sin omega t. So similarly, if you find out the equation for alternating current, then you can see alternating current, instantaneous value of the alternating current can be given by I is equal to IM sin omega t. Similarly, the RMS value of the current I RMS is given by IM by, IM by root 2 and uh, RMS value of the voltage is given by EM by root 2. And then the average value of current 0.637 IM and the average value of the voltage is equal to 0.637 EM. Similarly, form factor. Form factor is nothing but the ratio of the RMS value by the average value. So if you solve uh, IM by root 2 by 2 IM by pi, you will get 1.11. Similarly, crust factor or peak or the amplitude factor Ka, which is equal to maximum value by RMS value. So you will be uh, getting it as 1.414. So this form factor and the amplitude factor, we will also be making use of this in uh, another chapter, another module while doing some derivation. So please remember this. Uh, next is omega equal to 2 pi f and t is equal to 1 by f. Now using all these formulas, we will be solving some important problems. So the first problem, an expression of an alternating voltage is E equal to 140 sine 314 t. Find its RMS value, average value, frequency and form factor. So first let us see what is the equation given. The equation of an alternating voltage is given as E equal to 140 sine 314 T. So if you see this, this is in the form of E equal to EM sine omega T. So from this equation, you can see EM is nothing but 140 volts. Similarly, omega is nothing but 314 radians per second. Now, using this uh, given uh, data, we will find out the rest of the RMS value, average value, frequency and form factor. Now, first let us find out what is the RMS value. Now, RMS value is given by uh, ERMS is equal to EM by root 2. So, if you substitute EM is equal to 140 by root 2, you will get it as 98.99 volts similarly average value average value is given by 0.637 em so substitute that so 0 0.637 into 140 will be will give you 89.18 volts Next, we have asked you to find out what is the frequency. Now, how can you find out the frequency? Now, we already know omega is equal to 2 pi f. So, omega is nothing but 314 radians per second. So, divided by 2 pi will give you frequency. So, frequency is equal to 49.97 hertz. Similarly, form factor. So, form factor kf. Form factor is nothing but RMS value by R average value. So if you substitute RMS value by average value, that is uh, 98.99 by 89.18, you will get it as 1.11. So this is how you are going to solve the problem. Next problem. So for the current waveform shown in figure, find the peak current, average value, frequency, periodic time and instantaneous value at t equal to 3 milliseconds. So they have already given you the figure. So some of the data can also uh, can be directly found out from the figure. So first they have asked you to find out what is the peak current. So peak current is given by IM. IM you can see 
they have already found that is 20 20 amps so this is nothing but your peak current so i am is equal to 20 amps second i have asked you for the average value so average value as you know you can find out using the formula average value is given by 0.637 im so substitute that 0.637 into 20 so this will give you the average value so 12.74 amps next i have asked you to find out what is the frequency so how can you find out the frequency frequency is nothing but f is equal to 1 by t now uh, periodic time is already given so substitute that 1 divided by 1 by 100 so it will not be nothing but 100 hertz next they have asked you for periodic time now periodic time is directly given in the uh, figure so periodic time is denoted by t and t is equal to 1 by 100 so t is equal to 1 by 100 so seconds next they have asked you to find out what is the instantaneous value at t equal to 3 milliseconds now how are you going to find out this instantaneous value at t equal to 3 milliseconds so we know the in the uh, equation of the instantaneous uh, uh, current so using that equation we are going to find out what is the instantaneous value at t equal to 3 milliseconds so what is the instantaneous equa uh, uh, equation of the current? So instantaneous uh, uh, current can be given by I is equal to I m sin omega t. Now I m uh, was already given in the figure that was 20 into sin omega t. Now what is omega? Now how can you write this? So you can also write it as omega can also be written as uh, 2 pi f right so sign 2 pi f into t next 20 into sign into 2 pi into frequency was already found out so frequency was 100 hertz into time time is nothing but uh, 3 milliseconds because they have told you to find out the instantaneous value at 3 milliseconds so 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay now you know omega is in radians per second right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep my calculator in radians and i'll do the necessary calculation so i hope you know how to keep your calculator in the radians mode so 20 sine 2 pi into 100 into 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 so this will give me 1.88495 so 20 sine 1.88495 so calculate this in your calculator so when i keep my calculator in the radians mode it will i will end up with the answer 19.02 one one amps so this is the answer so this is how you are going to solve the problem so when whenever they ask you to find out the instantaneous value of the current at the particular time so please be sure of uh, how uh, um, you, whether your calculator is in the degree mode or in the radians mode so next question that they have asked is an alternating EMF is mathematically expressed as E is equal to 200 sin 314T. Find the amplitude, frequency, instantaneous value when T is equal to 1 by 200 seconds. So E is equal to 200 sin 314T. So this is in the form of E is equal to E M sine omega T. So from this equation itself, you can find out what is the first answer. That is the amplitude. So amplitude is nothing but E M. E M is equal to 200 volts. Next, the next question that they have given is frequency F. 
now f how can you find out this now you know omega is given omega is nothing but 2 pi f which is equal to 340 radians per second so from this you can find out what is the frequency so frequency f is equal to 314 divided by 2 pi so you will get 49.97 hertz next they have asked you for instantaneous value when t is equal to 1 by t, uh, 1 by 200 seconds so let us find out that so uh, instantaneous value uh, you know uh, the equation that is e is equal to em sine omega t so let me substitute that so now at t is equal to 1 by 200 seconds i need to find out the instantaneous value so is e, e is equal to 200 sine 314 into 1 by 200 now this will give me the value of the um, voltage while the angle is in radians so since this 314 or this omega is in radians per second next if you want to find out so this is when the angle is in radians now if you want to find out the value of the voltage when the angle is in degrees then you have to substitute it like this e is equal to em sine omega t now you know omega is nothing but 2 pi f right em sine 2 pi f into t so em is equal to 200 into sine 2 into now instead of pi let me substitute 180 degrees into frequency now frequency that we had found out was nothing but 49.9 so let me substitute that 49.9 into t t is nothing but 1 by 200 so this is when the angle is in degrees So this is how you substitute when the angle is in radians and when the angle is in degrees. We have the next question. So alternating current is given by 15.15 sine 377T. Find the time taken by the current to reach 12 amps. So you know the uh, alternating equation, uh, the equation for current. So, I is equal to I m sine omega t. So, here the equation is given 15.15 sine 370 70. Now, they have asked you to find out the time taken by the current to reach 12 amps. That means you need to find out what is time t. So, let me substitute this 12 is equal to 15.15 sine 370 70. Now 12 divided by 15.15 equal to sine 370.70. So 370.70 is equal to sine inverse of 12 divided by 15.15. So it will give me 0.9142. So T will be equal to. 0.9142 divided by 377 which will be equal to 2.4249 millisecond so this is the answer so time taken by the current to reach 12 amps is given by t equal to 2.4249 milliseconds so next let us go and see what is phase and phase difference now what do you mean by phase phase means uh, it will tell you how much or how much distance the alternating quantity has traveled from the origin so say i have a waveform like this a sinusoidal waveform so 
so pi by 2 pi this is 2 pi so this is a, a waveform of a volt, uh, current so now suppose you want to find out what is the phase of the current at point a then phase of current at point a will be equal to pi by 2 now how is this pi by 2 now you can see from the origin it has traveled a distance of pi by 2 right so the phase of the current at the point a will be equal to pi by 2 radians so it will be pi by 2 radians or you can also tell so if this is the periodic time t now how much will be this it will be nothing but t by 4 seconds right so you can also say the phase of the current at point a is equal to pi by 2 radians or t by 4 seconds so this is how you uh, define the phase phase is nothing but it will tell you how much distance the alternating quantity has traveled from the origin so next let us see what is phase difference now suppose you have two alternating quantities which have same frequency but both the alternating quantities have two different zero points then they are said to be having a phase difference so angle between the two zero points is nothing but the angle of phase difference so you can specify this phase difference either in degrees or in radians now let me uh, explain you by uh, taking a waveform and taking two different alternating quantities so let me take these two alternating quantities as voltage and current itself so let me uh, take first voltage now this is the voltage next let me take the current now you can see this is the current so you can see both have two different origins right but both have the same frequency so now you can say from this that the voltage is leading the current right so here you can say see here the voltage is the one, uh, one which is starting first and current is the one which is starting next that means you can also say voltage is leading current or in other words you can say that the current is lagging the voltage so by how many angles it is lagging now the phase difference or the difference between the zero points if i take it as the angle phi then you can say current is lagging the voltage by an angle phi or the voltage is leading the current by the angle phi now how can you write the equations of these two alternating quantities now you can see voltage is starting at the zero point or the origin right here so that means i can write the equation of the voltage as either you can use uh, the letter e or the letter v for voltage so you can write v is equal to vm sin omega t since it's starting at the origin now you can see current is starting after some point or after a uh, angle phi from the origin so you can write it as i is equal to i m sin omega t minus phi so these are the equations for this particular waveform next say i have a waveform where 
both the alternating quantities are starting at the same point. Sorry. Okay. So one is voltage. Another one is the current. So you can see both have the same origin. So therefore I can write V is equal to Vm sin omega t and I is equal to Im sin omega t. Next let me take uh, another waveform where I have one of the alternating quantity which is starting at the origin and another one I have which is starting before the origin. Sorry. So this is the voltage and this is the current. So in this uh, scenario you can see the current is starting before the origin or the before the zero point and voltage is starting exactly at the zero point right. So in this case how do you write the equation. So uh, voltage can be written as V is equal to Vm sin omega t whereas current I can be written as I equal to Im sin omega t plus 5. So in this case you can see the current is starting before the zero point right and voltage is starting at the zero point. Now how can you uh, tell this? Now in this case you can say the current is leading voltage. What about uh, the uh, relationship between the current and the voltage in the previous scenario? Here you can see both are starting at the same origin that means voltage and current are in phase. So this is what do you mean by phase and phase difference. I hope it is clear. Uh, so thank you.